painting the subject of painting in is in fact the painting it can be the expression of mood a reality as seen by the artist a graphic interpretation of a philosophical idea and invocation of blessings from the gods or just decoration or as a part of a celebration it can be done by an individual a group or a community using different grounds colors adhesives and tools in india community painting reflect the identity of a region or a particular culture of and follows common characteristics most of the traditional paintings include snakes so why snakes why do traditional paintings particularly in gondi and mithila art have many artistic and respectful representations of snakes this question was asked by a german visitor at an art exhibition in frankfurt since there are usually many snakes in the field and in our village we pro we propitiated them in this manner to prevent ourselves from being bitten the artist from mithila explained western society is aggressive and would think only of attacking the snake but in a spiritual and non violent society like india this was a beautiful way of living with nature responded a german visitor she was so in- she was so inspired that she bought all the snake paintings at indian exi- indian stall at the at that exhibition there is a marketing lesson to be learned here moderant moderant is a fixing agent used to fix colors on the cotton cloth during the process of painting printing or dyeing so what is a painting the following are the basic physical components of a painting ground on which the painting is done color that make up the painting adhesive or glue tools to apply colors to the ground colors and images often represent meaning and concepts red and yellow are auspicious the the panchavarna murals are in five colors red yellow green black and blue a fish depths a fish depths its fertility find out how how colors from traditional paintings affect people ground on which the painting is done right through the history of india rock faces and caves walls of homes the floor the threshold a palm leaf a piece of wood cloth or even the palm of a hand was used as a background to paint in english many terms for painting refer, refer to the ground have you heard of canvas painting fabric painting glass painting wall painting also also called as murals or even face painting the ground determines what colors adhesives and tools should be used wood has an oily surface therefore water based paints cannot be used in india we have many imaginative imaginative names of each type of painted surface in all our languages color that make up the painting colors for a painting can be organic or inorganic depending on how they are obtained or made so first one is organic color infinite colors provided by nature from flowers leaves stones and even cow dung or soot collected from inside a chimney fill the artist artist's palette common colors of cloth in use even today are indigo laboriously obtained from the indigo plant to create many hues of blue madder red with the powdered black bark and leaves dried karka dried karka flower with powdered alum and water with powdered alum and water for an orc yellow there are only the basic colors whereas each region uses some special materials from its own area to add the to add to this common natural color range before chemical colors came to be produced industrially people sought to be people sought to bring vibrancy into their lives by using colors extracted from nature each region had its own material and mixture which people used to create artistic 
aesthetics moods the incentive urge to honor nature and to capture it without destroying it inspired people to search for the colors in the natural world traditional wisdom everywhere enabled people to experiment and with available of natural resources dyes natural dye natural dyes have been used since the time of Im- immemorial to add colors to the cloth it was india that first invented the technique of printing or painting on cotton cloth by using a fixed agent termed as mordant the most common type of mordant used in is myrobalm which is made from unripe karaka fruit and mixed with fresh mixed with fresh unboiled milk the cloth is bleached with the sheep or cow dung dissolved in water before it is dyed in organic colors in organic or chemical colors such as arsenic emulsion etc came to existence as a result of industrialization there are commercial they are commercially sold and since they are easily available they are widely used in mithila painting of bihar the artists are instructed to only use fallen leaves and flowers not use edible materials never take anything from a neighbor's garden as to show respect for all that is natural adhesive or a glue is something which fixes the color to the ground so the next point is adhesive or glue a painting is said to be permanent if an adhesive is used to fix it to the ground for centuries in western countries like europe like european countries oil was used to fix the colors and the paintings were called as oil paintings then water is used it as a water color then water is used it is called as a water colored painting tools to apply colors to the ground painting is done with a variety of implements or tools made from natural materials such as thin streaks stripped from long grasses brushes made of birds feather squirrels and cats hairs bamboo silvers buried in the ground until they became fibrous textures are obtained by using combs toothbrushes and leaves it aff- it effects uh, it the effect of a spray of a color is made by blowing color organic liquids through a blower one painting for each day in india we have many imper- many impermanent forms of paintings like ra- rangoli alpana that are created on the floor at the entrance of the home colored powders are used to color the rangoli on the ground without an adhesive or glue as the artwork is not meant to be permanent but day but done each day there are special designs for festivals to celebrate the birth of a child or a marriage kollam kollam is the floor painting made from made by women at this entrance of the of their home with white rice powder in tamil nadu royal families engaged artists to create painted books of manuscripts to illustrate poems and stories great libraries of handwritten and hand painted books were collected by rulers and kings often royalty had their own portraits made to adorn their places and illustrate their diaries like the akbar nama or jahangir nama to paint delicate strands of hair and details of flower in the mughal manuscript paintings the artist used brushes with a single tail hair of a squirrel miniature artist in jaipur can paint your portrait as if in a mughal miniature setting can you create such a painting yourself through cutouts and artwork by learning from an artist cloth painting making a kalamkari making a kalamkari kalamkari or a 
Varthapani from Andhra Pradesh demonstrates the variety of natural materials used to create a work of art. Kalamkari means pen work in Persian and refers to both printed and painted cloth. In the 17th century, Persian influences led to artists experimenting with the descriptions of trees, fruits, flowers and ornamental birds using a column to paint. The painting is made exclusively with a pen. The column made out of a bamboo silver bound at one section with wool and then dyed with natural colors. Black ink is used to make outlines and jaggery, rusted iron fillings and water are used to making colors to fill the details. Painted stories. The art of painting stories on a cloth is located in Sri Kalasti, a town in Andhra Pradesh. Originally large paintings on a cloth served a pictorial rendering of a great epics the Ramayana and the Mahabharata for temples. Paintings were also made to illustrate spiritual poems for eminent writers. The process of painting the cloth and the fineness the lines depends on the artistic talent, artistic talents of the painter. Great skill is also required in laying the colors on the cloth, carefully washing the cloth in flowing water, sprinkling water on it regularly to ensure color fastness and dyeing it suitably in the sun. Making of a kalamkari is a strenuous process which if done carefully according to the prescribed methods produces a painting in which the color retain their brightness and vigor for centuries. What is the most interesting what is most interesting is that the cloth painting process involves no chemical product and the excess dyes that flows into the river while washing do not pollute it. A, a Kalamkari artist once working on a painting in New Delhi preferred to return to his hometown to dye the cloth because he felt the river Yamuna was too, popu- too polluted to enable him to bring out the richness and richness of color that he wanted. The quality of the water, air and sunshine are all important in the process of art making of the na- of the nature. Wall paintings The tradition of wall painting has been passed down from prehistoric times to us today. A society moved from forest dwelling to agriculture based communities. The art of painting continued as a part of their life and to transmit their traditional beliefs through their art. This form, this form part of the universal culture of most agricultural societies. Paintings are done on walls to invoke the gods to bless the soil, keep animals healthy for work in field, grant a family healthy progeny after marriage, and bless a newly constructed home. Painting home on the wall of a religious building despite a human quest and understand a larger universe and power. And to understand larger universe and power. India has the largest number of art forms, call them styles or school anywhere in the world, mainly because its cultural heritage is rich, many layered and vibrant living one. The Aborigine art of Australia reflects the traditional way of life of the Aboriginals. The people who lived in the dif- difficult nat- natural surroundings and begin by using walls of, uh, ca- walls of caves or the barks of trees to paint. They painted their own world of sacred objects, animals, birds and the image from daily life. It was both ceremonial and secular just as an Indian tribal art. Many of the living many of their paintings represent dreaming in some manner, as the images have a magical and mystical quality. 
the style of using many colored dots and lines to build up an image is remarkable like an art of an gond adivasis of madhya pradesh wall paintings through the ages 10000 to 8000 before christ prehistoric paintings in rock shelters and walls of caves show early life and activities of human society from 1 to 1000 buddhist vihars and buddhist vihars or monasteries and chaitya or prayer halls in ajanta in maharashtra alchi monastery in ladakh and in bengal and in bag in madhya pradesh have mural depicting the life of buddha and the other religious stories from 1000 to 17 century wall paintings can be found in the temples of kailashna temple of kanchipuram in tamil nadu recently wall paintings were found in bihadev swara bihadeswara temple of tanjavur tamil nadu early early examples of jain paintings jaina paintings were found in sitti navasal in pudukottai district of tamil nadu at the viru bhadra temple in lepakshi are examples of andhra style of mural paintings from 16th century to 19th century murals painting mural paintings also adorn places excellent examples are found in bundi jaipur and nagpur and the forfeited places in patiala in the punjab 19th to 2000s 19th century to the 2000s Mural paintings continue today in many of our villages communities especially in Bihar Maharashtra Rajasthan and Gujarat artists of today like Jatin Das and MF Hussain have created paintings for contemporary building interiors wall painting in a wall painting or mural the ground is the wall or the stone of the cave paint is applied on the wall plaster to blind the paint to the plaster the colors are often put on wet plaster so it it, it fuses with it in many villages in india women apply wet lime paint to dry the mud walls lime is a natural di- natural disinfectant and prevents ants and termites inhabitants in inhabiting the wall as they use no adhesives to the paint flake and has to be redone has to be redone every season especially after the monsoon just before dashera and diwali all paintings done on the walls are not necessarily called mural paintings this term is usually reserved for the classic styles used for temples churches and places sometimes these are called as fresco fresco paintings an example of fresco painting is a mural technique received from prehistoric cave paintings in Wayanad Kerala it has religious and historical epics as subjects the colors and costumes are related to the performing arts yellow orc red orc leaf green lamp shoot and lime white colors are applied in layers from light to dark these paintings do not spoil when exposed to the natural elements the internet internet will help you find the local locations where kerala murals can be seen marketing means more than just selling indian contemporary art has attained international recognition earlier pioneers of shanti niketan schools and artists like amrita sher gill drew upon indian colors and themes the work of these artists fetches la- lakhs of rupees at auctions and sales in international market it is worth considering why communities that praises their own traditional art forms are barely known and earn very little compared to the contemporary artists one answer is that a single painting of an individual is unique expression is worth more than many paintings of on similar themes by many people 
इट इज द सिंपल लॉ ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स दैट डिफाइंस सप्लाई एंड डिमांड सेकेंडली इंडिविजुअल अर्बन आर्ट एक्सपोर्ट explores new themes while community are prefer to repeat traditional subject matters connected to seasons celebration festivals and popular legends community art was painted on walls floors a change in building material and lifestyle as aspiration created surface in homes that could not paint, be painted upon here the skill and practice of community paintings declined and along with that along with it knowledge and connection with a heritage Com- community art is now adjusting to presenting it itself in a different ways for commercial activity there are inter- interesting examples of how different traditional art forms can be adapted to new surfaces and on the three dimensional products which can be sold paintings traditionally applied to walls are now done on boxes or trays or fabrics of different kinds traditional folk paintings has even been used to illustrate story books to make animation films an important aspect of appreciating the cultural heritage and art forms of different societies and communities is to learn that adaptation must not dis- distort the art form so that the origin it origins and meanings are lost an appreciation of the culture the meaning and the significance of particular motifs and a basic respect should be found the foundation of foundation for adaptability styles of painting almost every state and agricultural and tribal community of india has its distinct painting style and some have more than one artist in chandigarh rajasthan uh, artist in chittorgarh rajasthan make wooden temples with doors that can be opened up to reveal elaborately painted stories of historical or religious importance these wooden cowards are used for worship and on festive occasions worli tribal tribals of thane district in maharashtra decorate their house walls with paintings depicting their lives painting sap painting saplings carrying grains dancing traveling to market and other routine activities of their daily lives symbols of the sun moon and stars along with planet animals insects birds show their beliefs and in in the integration of all forms of life on ruler and ceremonial occasions worli wall worli home walls are plastered with dung rice paste is used to raid or powder to tell stories and invoke the blessings of their goddesses of fertility pala ghata tanjore painting is an interesting combination of art and craft that grew in the region of tanjavar tamil nadu under maratha influence the main color are red yellow black and white the distinctive features were artist aristocratic or religious figures adorned with jewelry and surrounded by elaborate uh, architectural arcs and doorways original originally done on wood it ensure encrusted with semi precious stones later the paintings were used later the paintings were executed on glass the glass paintings are co- colored from the outside inwards the outlines and the final touches have been done first since the artist paints the picture from the reverse side of the glass painting on the palm or hands hina or mehndi is used to create auspicious symbols motifs and designs on the hands and feet on festive occasions it is a part of the creative indian urge to paint as form of con- community worship and a celebration rather than a individualistic exercise of pure self expression in which the artist need that artist then needs to market the results for survival 
मिथिला पेंटिंग पॉपुलरली नोन एज मधुबनी आर्ट इज फॉर्म इज फ्रॉम द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ द सेम नेम इन बिहार एंड इज नाउ वेल नोन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड वुमेन डेकोरेट द नेपिटल चेम्बर एंड द इनर वॉल्स ऑफ देयर होम टू सेलिब्रेट द रिटर्न ऑफ राम फ्रॉम एक्स एंड कृष्णा प्लेइंग द गोपाल कृष्णा प्लेइंग विद द गोपाल आर द प्रिफर्ड सब्जेक्ट्स मैटर आर्टिस्ट ऑफन शोज सीन्स ऑफ नेचर एंड अबेंड हार्वेस्ट टेंटिक इमेजेस ऑफ स्नेक्स वर्शिप and even city scenes if they have visited one any traditional art can be adapted to contemporary subject recently to the united nations in india decided to display indian folk paintings for the 8 millennial development goal program for which madhubani artists satya satya narain and muti karn created a beautiful expression of prevention of child mortality by showing how elephants and other animals protect their young ones the jaran patra the jaran pata chitra of west bengal is long vertical paper scroll used to tell stories from religious epics the artist composed songs that they sing with voice with while they slowly unroll each scene of the painting old fabric is plastered on the black of the back of the scroll to make it stronger these village stories tellers traveled from village to village listen, listening to news and passing on information much like television today the gujarat earthquake of 2001 and the tsunami of 2004 inspired such singers artists to present ballads of these ballads of these natural disasters the patu chitra of orissa despite, despite the stories from the famous poem the geet govin and devotional stanzas by ancient poets singers and writers the pat was earlier made as a temple offering stories are drawn in sections on palm leaf as etching or as a painting on paper and silk deep red or black rich black and rich blue colors from mineral shell organic lac are used in this painting modern developments have encouraged them to paint on wood boxes picture frames and etc for contemporary use